Hi, my name is Michael and I'm the creator of the Dispo Lens, but today I'm here to talk about my newest project, the Tri Stand. You might ask yourself, well, what is the Tri Stand? Let me break it down for you. First of all, it's a fully 3D printed copy stand that is meant for film digitalization up to medium format film. And yes, that includes 35 mm negatives. Second of all, it's a very budget friendly option for those who want to take film scanning into their own hands. The third key feature is its lightweight and compact design, which is perfect for those who don't want to permanently sacrifice any more of their precious workspace. Of course, there are some additional hidden features that we are going to talk about in a second, but first, let's take a look at the tri stand together. Let's begin with the main part of the tri stand. This is where your camera will be screwed on so it can look perfectly vertical to the working surface. In order to do so, a 1 4th 20 camera mount screw is included that will be used in combination with the camera plate to fasten the camera of your choice to the main body. But before we mount the camera onto the main body, let's continue with the three legs. In order to assemble these, you just have to screw them on one by one. The total assembly usually takes about 30 seconds. Once all three legs are assembled, now is the time to actually mount the camera onto the main body. Of course, please consider that in order to actually scan film negatives, you will need a dedicated macro lens. Depending on the exact focal length of the macro lens, you will have to adjust the height of the camera onto the main body. Now that the tri stand is assembled and the macro lens is installed, you're basically good to go. All you need in addition to that would be a light source and a film holder. For that, we decided to design our own film holders that are perfectly compatible with the tri stand and are capable of holding both 35 mm film, including the borders, but also medium format negatives with a maximum aspect ratio of 6 by 9. Lastly, we need to talk about the light source. This is something that we couldn't have done alone. That's why we are extremely excited to announce that we have partnered up with Cinestill in order to provide a truly complete scanning solution. The CS Lite is specifically made for this task and you can read all about its amazing features in the description below. Now the setup would be complete. The macro lens, the light source and the film holder are in place, preferably with some gloves. You can now place the film into the film holder and start pulling focus. Perfect. Now that we took the pictures of the negatives, it's time to convert these files into positives in the software of your choice. I personally use Negative Lab Pro for this process, but you can use any other software that you like to convert to negatives. At the beginning of the video, I promised you a hidden feature of the tri stand. And well, here it is. The big hollow leg of the tri stand doubles as a film holder for 35 mm film rolls, up to four film rolls, or up to three 120 mm film rolls. Now that the cap is screwed on, you can take your film safely with you on your photo adventures. The tri stand was designed from the beginning to be a 3D printed object. That unfortunately takes a very long time, about 12 hours per piece. That means in order to produce them, 
quickly in big numbers, I will have to expand my current 3D printing farm. In order to do so, I need your support. By pledging to this Kickstarter, you are helping me to turn this idea into a reality. For further information on how I'm going to proceed in the following months, please check the descriptions below. Thank you so much for watching and happy shooting!